Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in on today's video. I just wanted to show you a quick security device, pretty much plug and play that you can use in your bikes, any kind of bikes, but today's video will focus on the Jetson Bowl Pro. This is the folding electric bike from Costco. I've got a lots of videos on this bike in my channel. So if you'd like to check out more videos, if you got this bike, please use the link in the description that has the playlist with all of my videos, anywhere from battery modification, controller upgrade, how to fix flat tire. There's, there's all sorts of video. You got to check it out. This device is from the WSD cam, and this is very inexpensive at Amazon, sub $15, and sometime you can find really good deal for this device. And it comes with the remote, it comes with all the tools that you need to do the installation. This shouldn't be your primary security device. You should always use a lock, uh, secure it. This is just an added security. This is another tool in your toolkit to be able to secure your bike uh, and very inexpensive and easy to install. Here is what the box looks like. It's pretty simple, small. And if we open inside, you have got the actual alarm that they send you. They also send you the remote to arm and disarm your bike. And then here they send you some zip ties so you can securely put this into your bike, a tool to open up this security you know, device. Uh, you don't really have to do that the first time because if you see there's this little tab, all you gotta do is pull this and this, the, the battery will connect. You don't have to open this up, but if you do want to open this up to replace the batteries, this takes three AAA batteries, and you are gonna need to use a small screwdriver like this. They also send you some double-sided tape. So if you want to put it in the front or put it under the seat, you can use this double-sided tape to attach this and then a little pry tool. To open this, all you gotta do is use the screwdriver that came with it and then Undo this screw here. Now take the pry tool they sent you and start prying off here. When you open this, this is what the inside looks like. There's three AAA batteries uh, and this is your alarm right here. All right, so for all the customizations, if you want to put this in a learning mode, all you gotta do is press this unlock button and just hold. And when the light comes back blue here, then you can press this lock button again to go through different sensitivity settings. So that music pops up, then the decibels lowers. So it goes through seven different settings where So lower the, the audio, lower, lower the volume, higher sensitivity it is going to have. So you, if, you don't, if you live in an area where there's going to be some wind and whatnot and you don't want the alarm to trigger, then put it in a lower sensitivity so that you, the, you really have to move the bike for the alarm to trigger. So that is how you change the sensitivity. And then to change the alert level, the volume level, you, it's the same exact process. You and hold on this and when this light comes on then press this button here the the audio button the bell icon there's three different levels that it sounds and that is how you adjust the audio level in this one and to exit out of this learning mode just press on this unlock button and then you are good to go and if you want to change the ringtone, then you can just press this. There's one. There's another one. There's another one. So whichever you want, you can change between the, the three by just pressing here. And those are all the settings. So when you press this once, you're gonna hear two different beeps. So first one, and then after a couple of seconds, there's another beep letting you know that the system is properly armed. So let's press this. There you go. Now this system is armed. Let's say somebody just accidentally knocks this or knocks your bike. 
it just alerts that once and nothing happens. The, the alarm is not going to go off unless somebody comes back and tries to move it again within 12 seconds. Move this. And to disarm the system, all you got to do is press this unlock button once and then it disarms the system. If you want to locate your bike, you can just press this bell icon and it beeps to let you know where your bike is. There is a couple of places you can mount this security device here in your Jetson Bolt Pro. I think the manufacturer recommends mounting on the pole here in the front, but this is pretty obvious that if, if they know that, if the thieves know that this is a security device, they can just cut the zip tie because other than just the double-sided tape and a zip tie, you don't really have a way to lock your security device. So I don't know if this is gonna be ideal, but you can mount it using the zip ties here. You can also put it on the handlebar. There's some room that you can fit if you don't have anything else. I guess really like you can put it anywhere. You can mount it right here uh, in the seat post, but just be careful. You can also hide this under your seat. So just mount it inside here, like hide it, but then somebody could just take your seat out and then just take the bike because your security system is going to be right here. So just be careful mounting it there. Um, you can also put it here. There's there is a lot of place. I mean, this possibilities are infinite. You just figure out what works best for you. I don't know how long the battery is going to last. So this might be a hassle to remove and replace the battery, but it does fit right here. So if you remove some of those zip ties that you have on the controller and use the zip tie to connect this, with the cable in the back and just kind of shove it in here, you can close this securely. So if you look at over here, it is all lined up here as well as in the bottom. So I can start putting the screws and secure this. So it would be inside right here. That means people are not gonna be able to just remove the security device from your bike. I'm going to arm the system and then check how sensitive it is. And we are in the highest sensitivity level. So arming, just press this big button. Hear one beep. There you go. The second beep is a confirmation that it is fully armed now. Now, let me try to go shake it here. So it gave me an alert. So that is really, really good that it gave me that alert. Now let me try to move it. There you go. That was pretty good. And to get out of it, all you have to do is press this unlock button. I'm gonna go try to lift the bike and then see how sensitive it is. No, it's not recognizing the lifting motion. There you go. Finally it did. So it took a little bit of time to recognize that. Now I'm gonna pretend to steal this bike. I'm gonna try to not bump it at all and try to just walk away with the bike with as less of emotion as I can. It still hasn't recognized it. So, so it almost seems like if you lift the bike just perfectly, the alarm won't trigger for a while, but then if there is any bump or you start moving a little too much, then the alarm is going to trigger. So, it is not as sensitive even in the most sensitive mode under certain situation and probably depends on where you have mounted it too. Some quick spec on this. This thing is 3.7 by 1.6 by 0 0.8 in height. So it's a pretty small device that can fit anywhere. The loudest volume is 113 decibel, 
which is pretty loud. The range for your remote control is 66 feet. So up to 66 feet, you can arm and disarm your system using your remote control. So what do I think about this security device? First of all, I really like how it costs under $15. So this is not a very expensive security system. And I like how customizable it is that you can change the ringtone. You can also use this to locate your bike. If there's lots of bikes parked around that are same to yours, you can locate your bike easily by just pressing the, the bell icon on the remote. So I definitely like those customizable features for again, being under $15. Is it perfect? Uh, absolutely not. It takes some time, it takes a while to recognize the motion. Uh, I tried various different times. Sometimes it recognizes very, very quickly. But then sometimes I was off, you know, a couple hundred feet and then it finally recognized I was moving because probably I was moving the bike a little too much. It seems like when you are lifting the bike, it does not recognize it as much as you are trying to ride off with the bike. So if you are just riding off with the bike, it, it, there's a lot of friction and vibration that I think it picks up quicker than if you just lift it and then very securely take it away. As I said before, you know, this shouldn't be your primary security device. You should always, always lock your bike to, to make it secure. But this does definitely add peace of mind especially if I can fit this inside here, which I showed earlier that you can. Now I know that somebody can't just take this or steal this from the bike and it's secure there. Um, the only thing with that, the downside of that is I don't know how long the batteries are gonna last. I watched in Amazon in the review page and people were saying that it lasts you know, all summer with, with regular use. So I really don't know how long these batteries are gonna last. This is not rechargeable. Uh, so if you, I don't know, maybe you can figure out a way to recharge this battery from outside. I just wanted to show you this device exists and demonstrate the features as well as go through some of the settings. I will have a lot more videos on different e-bikes, uh, especially for the Jetson Bolt Pro. As I said in my intro, if you haven't checked my videos out on this bike, I'm gonna put a link down below uh, for the playlist with all of my videos. So be sure to check those videos out. Thank you very much for your continuous support to my channel. Please come back for another video soon in my channel. I really appreciate it again. Namaste.